Now Galaxy's iPhones and Pixels use multi-frame image stacking, that is computational compositing. That is why when you shoot your images in high contrast situations, you find your smartphone images looking better than your camera images. Now you can argue they use image processing to preserve the highlights and control the shadow areas and the dynamic range is a bit fake and artificial looking. But if the final image gives you the illusion of higher dynamic range, do you really care? Now this multi-frame image stacking is different than exposure bracketing on your camera. In exposure bracketing, photos are taken consecutively. First it takes a middle exposed image, then a darker image, and then a brighter image. Whereas smartphones take 9 to 10 different images at different exposure at the same time. This is how powerful computational compositing is. The processor on smartphones is so so powerful compared to camera's processor. Now if you know how to use a camera, results are gonna be better with the camera. Due to its bigger and better sensor, due to its bigger and better glass, due to its better efficient and more workable codex. And yeah, camera still produces better results if you know how to use it. And camera is also gonna produce better results in the lower lighting situations. Now to wrap it all, for quick day to day shooting where I don't need to edit my my photos I don't need the best possible image quality I'm just shooting and there is a high contrast extreme dynamic range shot I can just take out my iPhone or pixel or galaxy I can shoot it it might look a bit artificial and give me the illusion of higher dynamic range but I don't care for shooting videos I still prefer my DSLR in almost every situation